Day Charleston. Here are some recent headlines in local and South Carolina news. I'm Bill Sharp. It's Spoleto season in Charleston. You know what that means. It won't be hard for you to find all kinds of arts over the next 17 days at Spoleto Festival USA and the companion Piccolo Spoleto Festival run by the city of Charleston. Pick up a copy of the Charleston City Paper to find out what's happening in the arts all across Charleston. There's something for everyone, you know. Spoleto's much-anticipated modern opera, Omar, will take center stage to tell the story of an African scholar enslaved here, and there's much more. Visit charlestoncitypaper.com to make it easy to learn about plays, ballet, dance, chamber music, and all sorts of other sounds that will peel across the holy city. The coming issue of the City Paper will also feature an updated special section for Piccolo Spoleto that has a calendar of dozens of events through June 12th, plus stories on paintings, plays, and a band of retirees expected to make big waves. Throughout the festivals, the City Paper will offer detailed coverage of what's happening, thanks in part to generous reporting by six Syracuse University graduate students who are contributing previews and reviews online. Also, in the May 25th issue of the newspaper is a story that gives the background of native Charlestonian Clay Middleton, who is announcing he's running for mayor in 2023. There's a look at a bunch of new laws of the Palmetto State and the ever-popular blotter of dumb things people do around town. I love to read that. You'll also find our editorial endorsements in federal and state races. On June 1st, we will share those endorsements in Charleston County races. In other recent headlines, hurricane season starts June 1st, and forecasters are predicting an especially busy year. Three to six major storms are projected. South Carolina leaders are reacting with a mix of grief, anger, frustration, and compassion in the wake of that deadly school shooting Tuesday in Texas. At least 19 children and two adults were killed. Environmental and city leaders say they're optimistic about the future of the city after the announcement the State Ports Authority will be terminating a port contract with Carnival Cruise Lines. Read a great story at charlestoncitypaper.com about Quentin Washington, who has interviewed hundreds of people over the years here in the Lowcountry, including yours truly. So pick up the Charleston City Paper at any of eight hundred locations around town for the latest news and views about the Lowcountry. For the Charleston City Paper, I'm Bill Sharp. Thanks for joining us.